Hey guys, I'm back out here in my garage and I'm out here playing around with this uh, new Mach 3 pendant that I bought the other day. I actually bought a couple of these off of Amazon.com uh, and when they came in I took a picture of it and posted it on Facebook as well as uh, posting the link to them and it uh, looks like it generated a lot of uh, comments and conversation and uh, it looks like several people actually went on the followed the link and bought one for themselves so uh, I thought you know I did talk about this a little bit last night on the CNC with Dave show uh, if you didn't get a chance to see that you can go to the Dave Gatton YouTube channel and catch that as uh, as well as all of the uh, previous shows uh, but I thought I would get on here and do just a quick video trying to show you a little bit about what I've learned with this thing um, what I like about it what I don't like about it uh, but anyway, I've got it plugged up here. I've got uh, uh, Mach 3 started. I've already set a zero position or a home position. Uh, I'm not going to run the router. It's way too loud for that. So I'm just going to leave it up there and just move it around in the air. Uh, I've got a sample program uh, running here. And, uh, you know, it's basically ready to run. So one of the things you can do with this pendant here if you look right here in the yellow section you have the y plus x minus x plus y minus so on and so forth all your uh your four axes you can can move so you can press y plus i can move it back by minus i can bring it back forward uh, same thing with the x and I will say when you're pushing these buttons, I don't know if you can hear it in the video or not, maybe you can since I've got the mic right here, you actually have to press this until you hear like a little click. Uh, you know, you got it's a pretty firm press. You don't just hold your hand on it because that's what I did when I first got it and I thought, well, the thing's not working. But you've actually got to push it pretty hard uh, to, uh, to get that button to connect there, I guess. Okay, now that I've jogged it around, it has a button on here called origin point, which to my guess is the same as hitting go to zero. Cause like I said, I've already hit my uh, reference all home button. So if I hit that, it will go back to right where I had it uh, zeroed out. Uh, and of course the button everybody's looking for is the cycle start button. You can hit that and it will take off and start running. Another nice little feature about this thing is here it has F plus and F minus, which is the feed rate. So I can actually hit that F plus. Right now it's currently running 65 inches a minute. So I can hit that three times and now it's running 80 inches a minute. Or I can hit the F minus and bring it back down and now it's back down to 65. So you can do that on the fly with a pendant just like you can in the Mach 3 software. Uh, another feature you have this stop button that's got the yellow around it here. That's pretty much like the yellow feed hold button on Mach 3. If you hit that stop button, it will stop. And of course you can hit cycle start and it will take right off again right where it left off. Um, another nice little feature, uh, I don't really see me using it, but it's there and I'll kind of show you how to use it if you want to. Uh, if you decide you, you're coming up on a part of the program and you want to really slow it down or maybe just go a line at a time, there's a button on here called single step and when you depress that button, it puts a single block lit up here. And you see that it stopped. And of course this thing is always reading several lines ahead so it took it a second for it to catch up to where it had read to. But now it's stopped. But now every time I hit cycle start, it's only moving, well depending on how I depress that button. If I hold it too long it'll move a couple of lines. But if you do it like that real quick, it's just moving one line at a time or a single block. So. You can see that, I don't, I don't know if you can see that in the video or not, but the single block is flashing. So if I want to turn that back off, say I've got past the, the part I was worried about, I can depress that single step again. That turns that off. And now when I hit cycle start, it will just take off and finish the program uh, just like it normally would. Um, 
Another, uh, I guess, kind of feature, you know, I've already mentioned the feed hold, but uh, let's say you let's say you, you started a program and it's already cutting away and you realize you forgot to change the bit and you, you've already trashed that workpiece. You can hit the stop button, or the, which would be like the feed hold, and then you can hit the uh, origin point and it's going to go back to where your zero was. Another uh, button it has on here is called redo and you'll notice, I think you'll be able to see this in the video, um, you know, obviously you know, well down into the program a little bit. Well, if you hit redo, that's pretty much the same as hitting uh, the rewind button on Mach 3. So it takes you back to the beginning of your program. So then since you've got it already back home, you can change your bit out or do whatever you got to do, get it ready to go again, hit cycle start, and off you go. Now, let me, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop this thing so I don't have to, to talk over it. Now that's that's pretty much the things I figured out and kind of the, some of the things I like about it. Uh, I will tell you there's there's one big thing that I don't like about it, and I didn't realize it didn't do it uh, until I got it and started playing around with it. But I was kind of under the impression that uh, a handheld pendant would allow you to because it's convenient to be away from the computer because like right now I've got the laptop sitting down here in the bed but obviously when I'm running uh, the laptop's not going to be sitting as close it's going to be sitting several feet away so to me it's nice to be able to take a pendant uh, when you put a new blank on there use your jog buttons to get it close to where you want to reference your home and then I thought there would be a button on here similar to the reference all home button uh, to uh, to set your home position but there is no such button the origin point is the closest thing to it but when you press that it only goes back to what whatever the previous zero was so it doesn't uh, it doesn't have that and that's one thing that's really kind of got me disappointed in this because to me that's a, that was the whole reason I wanted this thing was to be able to have the computer over there be over here jogging it close reference it all home and be able to hit cycle start or whatever without having to go back. If I've got to jog it and get it close to where I want to reference all home, but then I have to walk back over there to hit reference all home, to me that kind of defeats the purpose of why I wanted this. So it's it's not a bad little pendant for 40 bucks, I guess. Uh, you know, you can do a lot of things with it. Uh, in my particular case, I'm not able to use the spindle on and off or the spindle speed up or spindle slow down because I'm not I don't have my uh, spindle wired in I'm just using a regular router I flip it on and off it's uh, you know it's not connected with Mach 3 if it was set up with a relay and all that through Mach 3 then I would be able to utilize those buttons but uh, that's not a big deal for me so I'm, I'm not able to use those but I think I probably will maybe look for another pendant and probably have to spend a few more bucks uh, I know some of the other ones I were looking at were anywhere from 80 to well over 100 bucks, but they had a little dial on them. Uh, before I buy another one, I will make sure that it's got a way to reference all home from the pendant because that's uh, that's what I wanted wanted it to do mainly. So anyway, still not a bad buy for 40 bucks, uh, and uh, you know it does work pretty good as as you saw to do the things I showed. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to make this real quick. I appreciate all my uh, new subscribers. I appreciate all the support I've gotten uh, on both my channels, the Dave Gatton and the Garage Work CNC channel. Uh, I've still got, uh, still selling kits. Uh, one thing I will say about the kits, uh, I'm, you know, I've been running free shipping uh, to the continental U.S. And starting tomorrow, August 1st, and I'm going to run that probably the whole month of August, I will do free shipping to anybody in Canada. So I've already shipped a couple up there, uh, you know, with free shipping. And so starting tomorrow, for August 1st, through the whole month of August, uh, I'll do free shipping uh, on the parts kits uh, for the Gatton CNC uh, to Canada, as well as the continental U.S. Anybody else? Uh, I mean, I'll ship them anywhere, you know, as long as... Uh, 
you know, as long as somebody's willing to pay the shipping if they're outside of Canada or, or continental U.S. So if you want one of these kits, you know, send me an email, give me your full shipping address and everything, and I can get you a shipping quote. So anyway, that's going to do it. Just want to get on here and talk about this pendant a little bit. Uh, I guess that's going to do it for this one, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.